Luz y Progreso. This is your host, Sancista Brujo Luis. So before I start the video today, I'm going to perfume my body with el perfume del pájaro macua. El perfume de la buena suerte. The perfume of uh, good luck. So I'm just going to perfume my body. El pájaro macua. So before I start my video today, I just want to do a public service announcement. I've been getting a lot of, and I've addressed this before here on my on my YouTube channel. I've been getting a lot of messages from people saying how a people are acting like Francisco Brujo Luis, sending messages. Uh, if you want a reading, uh, I have messages from the world of spirit that I got to relay to you. One thing is I will never do that, all right? So, how can you detect these false sancistas? Well, first of all, see the picture right here? This gentleman right here, that is not me. That person right there, that is definitely not me. Uh, and this person over here, that is not me. Sancista Brujo Luis, I only have one Instagram channel. And it's spelled S-A-N-C-I-S-T-A. -S That's it. There is no underscore uh, before my name, after my name, in between my name. There is no... So, if you get a message from a Sancista, look at that name. This is how I spell my name on Instagram. S-A-N-C-I-S-T-A. -S Some fake accounts will have Sancista with an L at the end of it. And some will have also two I's in the middle of S-A-N-C-I-I-S-T-A. -I -I that is not me. These are false uh, Instagrams. Block them, report those channels, okay? Do not send these people money. I will never, ever, ever message anyone randomly in the universe uh, saying that I've got a message from the world. This, I don't have that kind of power. I have a message, the, the universe contacted me, the spirits contacted me to tell you that I have a message. It's very important. No. No brujo, no espiritista, no santero, no, no, nobody. Nobody, no voodoo priest, no tarot reader will do that. That is a professional person will ever do that. They will never random, randomly email you or message you ever saying that they've got a message just for you. All right? So... This is my face. Mi carita, okay? This is not me. I don't look like that. I don't live in Nigeria. I don't live in Australia. Um, I don't live in Africa. I live in the United States of America. Soy Boricua, Puerto Riqueño. I'm Puerto Rican, but I live in the United States. That, so these people are not me, all right? So that's an indication. Esta la carita, esta carita que tú ves aquí, este Sancista Brujo Luis. So that's just a little public announcement. Uh, public message. So now that I got the message out of the way, and since we are speaking about Instagram, because this is happening in Instagram, I got a message on Instagram by, I think his name was Cesar, right? Uh, and he told me that he worked in La Compañía de El Perfume Pájaro Macua. A lot of Hispanics will know this, especially spiritual people, um, because this is a perfume that we use uh, for a lot of spiritual and magical working in Latin America. El pájaro macua in English would be the macabre, right? And so inside this perfume, which I do own, there is nido. Nido del pájaro macua, which is the name of the perfume. Nido means the nest, okay? So there, I don't know if you can see it in the perfume, there is little bit of el nido or the nest of el pájaro macua. El pájaro macua is used in Latin American folk magic, uh, Christian folk magic, Latin American folk magic, brujería, espiritismo, as a perfume to attract, to attract love, to attract sexuality, to attract good luck, to attract positive vibrations. El perfume pájaro macua, it's 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 gonna rain here in New England today, so it's a perfect day to wear it. It's a spicy oriental perfume, not something that you would want to wear in the summertime, right? Um, and I don't think a lot of young noses would like it. It's very spicy. 
all right? And this is something that you would smell like a lot of espiritistas uh, or brujos, they bless charms, you know, they spray charms down with perfumes and stuff like that. So this is something that you will smell in a lot of uh, espiritistas, brujos, brujas, curanderos, who prepare charms and then they spray it down with a perfume. You're going to smell this aroma. You can find El Nido del Pájaro Macuá. I'm going to put the name right there. In any botanica, most botanicas do sell it. It is a perfume of good luck to attract money, sexuality, partners, relationships, so on and so forth. It is a spicy oriental. This is not a fougere. Fougere is more of a, a summery scent, right? So a lot of young noses might not like this. Uh, it's more for like an older demographic, right? So anyways, Cesar, the owner or someone that works in La Compañía del Pajaro Macua, asked me if I would, uh, if they could send me some products uh, from, you know, their, their, their store uh, to show on my channel. I said, okay, if you want to, I would be more than honored. And so they sent me this box. I'm going to leave the, the information private. I don't know what it, what's inside the box. They told me they were going to send me a whole bunch of goodies. So I'm just going to open up the box right now and see what they sent. From el, la, la compañía eh, Pájaro Macua. And of course, el perfume es el nido, nido nest del Pájaro Macua. Nest of the Macabre. So now I'm going to get a trusted dagger and I'm going to open up this box. It's a really big box, and I don't know what's in it. They ju they just gonna they sent me a bunch of random uh, products. The only product I've ever used from this company is of course el perfume del pájaro macua. You know, which is like, I, like I've already said, it's very popular, and you'll find that in many botanicas throughout the United States. It is a perfume used, like I said, for luck, attraction. Abundance, uh, again, not a perfume used for young noses. So I'm going to focus on opening this box instead of cutting my finger. All right, I got it. All right. So I don't know. Again, I don't know what's in this box. So here we go. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. All right. Let's see what we got. So everything is wrapped up individually. I got one. Okay, how am I going to do this? Give me a second. Okay, so like I said, everything is individually wrapped. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven various products. I don't know what's in them. Um, and again, I'm going to leave the link, oh, seven, oh, and eight, right? I'm going to leave the link down below if you guys are interested, because I don't know what half of these products are, but I'm going to leave a link down below where you can order them. Or, and you can also find, I'm assuming you can find most of these products in spiritual botanicas where they're, you know, una botanica. So let me open up because I don't know what's in any of this stuff. I really don't know, but I know it's from El, el, el Pájaro Macua, El Nido de Pájaro Macua, right? So let me, let me start opening up, see what we got. Okay, so the first thing is in Italian. It says, please handle with care, fragile. All right, so that's Italian, I, I'm assuming. Wah, wah, wah. And uh, let me open this up. At least it's not that uh, white stuff. I can handle the plastic bubble wrap, All right? So the first thing that we have here, Ooh, this is so nice. the first thing that I got is a veladora, a seven day candle. This is called una veladora. A lot of people are calling them novena, novena candles. In Spanish, we don't call these novena candles, novenas. We call them veladoras. Very simple, right? So I got a, a veladora of El Pájaro Macua. 
I don't know if you can see the image there. There's actually a ritual in the back. I think that's in Spanish. Hmm, maybe I'll do that ritual. Um, but it's for love, success, and happiness. So this is the first thing that I got. And this is a really nice candle. It's got a bunch of skulls, a heart, uh, the pajaro maqua, butterflies, birds, flowers. And I'm going to show you that. So it's unscented. There's no, no perfume to it. So that's the first thing that I got. La veladora del pájaro macua. The next thing that I got, and I'm trying to open them very carefully. I think it's two more perfumes. Um, yeah. So I got another perfume del pájaro macua. You can see I already have that. So el perfume. I'm going to show you, you know, what it looks like close. And I'm going to describe what I use el pájaro macua after that. This one is a little bit different, but it is also looks like another perfume. So the next one that I've got is Fermonas, con, Fermonas Perfume Contra Mal de Ojo. A pheromones perfume against the evil eye. I've never smelled this. I don't know about this one. There is, it looks just like El Perfume del Nido Macua. So it looks like it's going to be an oriental. Okay, it's not a clear uh, fougere or, or anything like that. Um, so this is supposed to be used against hermonas. Hmm. Anyway, so this is supposed to be used against el mal de ojo, the evil eye. Never smelt this. All I'm, spell all I'm smelling, because I sprayed myself before the video, was el, el, el perfume del pájaro macua, del nido pájaro macua. So I'm going to look for an empty canvas. Okay. And I'm going to try this. So this is what it looks like. Okay. It's just a little, looks like that. So I'm going to open this, see how this smells. Okay. Okay. Waft it off. I smelled this before. It's very spicy. <laughs> really spicy. This would be more as el pájaro macua would be more for fall and winter. I can't see people using this in the dead. Maybe on a cool spring night, but definitely in the fall, in the winter. El nido de pájaro macua. I can't see people in Mexico and South America using it, but they do, right? Um, in America, we have a different perfume nose palette. This is really another, a, I smell a lot of the, the same notes as El Pajaro Macua, but it's more spicier, very soapy, very powdery, very clean. I actually, I actually like it a lot. So this is the first time I've ever smelt it. And so I like Fermonas de Mal de Ojo. A lot of young people under 30 will not like this. This is more for uh, people over 50 as, you know, as a Nilo de Pajaro Macua. And this could be used, I'm assuming, if you feel there's negative uh, evil eye, you want to spray it around the house, on a charm, you know, you make a un reguardo, a mojo bag against the, the evil eye. This would be, I guess, used, sprayed, Contra el mal de ojo. I like it. Um, again, for the fall and the winter, on a nice, fiery, cold night, this would smell amazing. I like it. All right? So, I don't know the notes, so I'll probably break down the notes at the end of the video because there's a whole bunch of stuff here that I'm going to check out. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So, I've never, like I said, I've never seen that... Uh, Fermonas Contra Mal de Ojo in the Botanicas. Like I said, the only one that I've ever seen is, of course, the very popular Nido de Pajaro Macua. So now I'm going to open up the next package. This feels like Christmas. Like, I'm so super excited. I love receiving stuff to review, right? Ooh, so this is a body splash. Look at this color. This is a body splash. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to uh, record it so you can see what it looks like on the other the side. one that I got is this beautiful red one. It is, I don't know if you can see it, I'm gonna have to turn the camera over. It is Body Splash de la Buena Suerte. Salud, dinero y amor. Salud, health, dinero, money, amor, love. 
I don't know if I've ever seen this one in a Botanica. It is a body splash. All right, so I'm just looking for a open canvas. All right. Okay, I'm gonna get the alcohol out of the way. Oh, this is a nice cherry. It smells like cherry birthday cake. It, this smells like cherry birthday cake. Oh, and there's some amber and like caramel, like a, a nice caramel scent to it. Um, marzipan. Um, I think that would be heliotrope. Yeah, I'm picking up some heliotrope. First time I've ever smelled this. So I'm picking up, first I've smelled cherries, a marzipan, heliotrope, amber. Mm, I like like a caramel, like a nice, this smells pretty good. This would be nice in the, in the, in the, again, in the fall. Smokiness, there's some smokiness to it. Where did I put the lid? All right. It smells good. I like it. This is, <laughs> this is a gourmand. A gourmand is fragrances that smell kind of like sweet, like a bakery, right? Like a bakery food. Like if you were to go into a bakery, because I smell the cinnamon. I smell the... It's making me actually hungry. I smell the cinnamon. I smell a cinnamon bun, cherries. There's a little bit of tobacco. I, I'm just telling you what I pick up. I don't know if these are the notes actually in their webpage. I'm just telling you what I pick up. The cherry, the tobacco, the amber, the cinnamon, like a cinnamon bun, caramel. Um, and my stomach is like, are you going to eat this thing? <laughs> you know, it smells like heliotrope. I smell some heliotrope. I smell some powdery scents to it. So... A lotion de la buena suerte, or you know, it smells good. I like it. The next one, okay, let me show you that. So, before I go to the next one, as I'm smelling this gourmand fragrance, this smells like a cherry version of Heliotrope Blanc by LTP Verb. It's a very popular uh, spiritual cologne. I've talked about Heliotrope Blanc before, LTP Verb, and um. It's very heliotropy, marzipan, cookie, cinnamon. This is very good for the fall. Um, this would make, this, is, this smells like a bakery to me. I like it. It smells really good. I don't know if a lot of people will like it. I actually like this a lot. So if you see this in the Botanicas, definitely pick this up. So the next one is a body splash of El Nido del Pájaro Matuari. Okay, so I have not smelled this a body. I'm assuming this is a body splash of El Nido del Pájaro Macuá. I'm looking for an open canvas in my on my body. No, that's where I got that. All right, right here. Yeah, right there. Okay, so fresh, right? It's the first time I'm, I'm, I'm trying these. Mm. This smells something my grandmother. This smells like Flor del Caribe. These perfumes that my grandmother would use at the end of the night. Uh, I think that it was Perfume. Flor del Caribe. I think it's got gardenias. This smells very different from... Um, El Perfume del Nido Pájaro Macua. It's very different. It's more of a florally scent um, and spicy. I do pick up the spice. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's jasmine or gardenias that I'm picking up on this one. Sometimes I confuse flowers. But this reminds me of something my grandmother would wear after her showers at night. La, la, la abuelita puertorriqueña, cubana, you know, Latina americanas, la, la abuelitas, you know, when they would take la ducha, their shower, they would put this, this perfume that it smells like abuelita, a flor del caribe. I like it. It smells good. It just brings me back to something my abuelita in Puerto Rico wore. I don't think it was this. Because I remember it was uh, Flor del Caribe or something like that. Um, but this reminds me just like that. It does have notes of, like, I do pick up the spiciness from the Perfume del Nido Pájaro Macua. But this is its own thing. And you can see 
It has got that beautiful dark color that you do not see in modern day perfumes, right? So if you see perfumes this color, this is not really for the young modern noses. This is more for mature adults. Um, it reminds me of Abuelita, tu refrán me hacen reír. It just reminds me of abuel Abuelita. Bien rico. Dios me la bendiga, me la acompañe. I like it. So esta compañía me dio donde me gusta, as we say in Puerto Rico, me dio donde me gusta. They, they, they hit me where I like the most because if you've seen my videos prior, you know that I am a perfume fragrance connoisseur. I love perfumes. So me dieron donde me gusta, como decimos los, los boricuas, los puertorriqueños, ¿verdad? Me gusta, ¿verdad? So this is like Christmas to me. And so... Let me open up the other two um, and see what they are. Ooh, salts. We got salts now. So the next one, it looks like a, a bath crystal. Um, sales espirituales. Sales or sales espiritual. I have to Google what sales espiritual. Give me a second because I'm going to Google what sales means. Is it sales espirituales or... Let me Google this. Give me a second. Oye, nene, tú estás medio bruto. Los perfumes are killing the neurons in your brain. Sales espirituales. Spiritual salts. Right? I guess the, the perfumes that I'm spelling are killing my neurons. So, spiritual salts. Um, de la buena suerte. Sales, sal. Sales espirituales. Sal is salt. So, spiritual salt. Sales espirituales. Da, da, da. Que bruto soy, right? Sorry about that. I need some coffee beans. Mm, this is for love. For well, the color says it all. First of all, look at this color. It is a nice pink um, color. All right. And the first thing that I smell, just off the bat, is like a cherry candy. <laughs> I smell cherry candies. Cherry, cherry blossom. Um, yeah, cherry, right? Cerezas. I think you call cherries in Spanish cerezas. If I'm wrong, to my Latino people, how do you say cherries in Spanish? I think it's cerezas. If I'm wrong, correct me down below, right? Um, pero las cerezas, cherries, is for passion, for love, for attracting, um, you know, for sexuality, you know, uh, for Kama Sutra, ya tu sabes, right? So, Sale espirituale, to me, just smells like cherry blossoms, cherries, a maraschino, cherries, more like a cherry candy. Um, yeah, that's what I pick up. I pick up cherries, cerezas, I think, in Spanish. But this is a, <laughs> this is a spiritual bath salt. Sales espirituales, not sales espirituales. So the next one is despojo de la buena suerte. Despojo is cleansing of good luck, right? Despojo de la buena suerte. It comes in a similar bottle as la, los sales, <laughs> the sales espirituales, um, but it comes in the same type of bottle. Despojo is cleansing, para despojar, para afuera, you know. So I'm, I'm assuming this is to attract la buena suerte, good luck, good vibrations, right? Never smelt it. Let me see what this is. This is, it feels, this feels like soap. <laughs> it smells, I, I was thinking like it would be a li like a liquid perfume. So I'm assuming this would be more like in for your bath, right? I was gonna put some a whole bunch in my in my hand and cleanse, but then I felt I saw that little bubble. You know when you open something that's thick, you see the little bubble. So I saw that little bubble. I said, let me put my finger in there before I, you know, it feels like very liquidy, not liquidy, soapy. So I'm assuming this is more for a bath, right? To attract a good vibrations, good luck. I don't know if I'm going nose blind. I'm not picking up. Too much of an aroma on this one, so I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna go smell some coffee beans in a second because I don't smell. Um, I don't smell nothing in this one. I think I'm going nose blind, so I'm gonna go sniff some uh, coffee beans. But this is de pojo de la buena suerte, cleansing for good luck para la buena suerte. 
and I'm gonna go get some coffee beans because you know where manna. Now you know where manna. Alright? I actually like these though. These this smells good. See, I can I can smell this one. Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little, I'm gonna go sniff some coffee. Yeah. I love doing reviews. Uh, it always feels like Christmas, especially since I don't have to, you know, buy it. Um, ooh, so these are aceites. Yep, these are oils. Let me get them out of there. So I got three oils. I'm gonna show you them as soon as I get them out. So we got one contra el mal de ojo, I'm assuming. First of all, let me show you the three oils that I got. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna turn the camera over so you can see it a little bit better. So let me tell you what I what these oils are. I think these are oils. This one is Espíritu Intranquilo, in tranquil spirit, Espíritu Intranquilo del oil, a, um, in tranquil spirit oil. And I don't know if you can see, it's got a, looks like needle, the, the nest of el pájaro macua. Um, and so candle, I mean, we all know how to use oils right we oil down our candles with uh, uh the oils so this would be used i don't know the ingredients para los espíritus intranquilos the tranquil spirits right it's a spicy it smells like um it smells just like el nido de pajaro macua to me um but this one is para el espíritu intranquilo aceite del espíritu intranquilo uh, oil of the intranquil spirit is the first oil that I got. So the next one is aceite contra mal de ojo, uh, oil against the evil eye. I don't know if you can see there's a little evil eye amulet inside the, the oil. Again, you can use this on your body, I'm assuming, uh, or you can use this on your candles. Uh, you know, you rub it in your candles, you rub down your candles against el mal de ojo, the evil eye. I'm assuming this, eh, del espíritu intranquilo, would be to maybe tame a lower level spirit. Someone's throwing you a brujería, an hechicería, mal de ojo. Someone's throwing you an, an, an intranquil spirit. I guess this oil would, afuera. Al carajo, right? So, el aceite de mal de ojo would be against uh, the evil eye. And so, you would prepare your, your candle with your herbs, with your powder. I'm showing off, because this is a beautiful candle, la veladora, not la novena. La novena is the action, the action of, of doing the prayers con las veladoras, as we say in Spanish, right? A lot of people call them novena candles. I guess that's how you call them in English, but in Spanish, La novena is the action of the prayers itself, while these are called veladoras. Veladoras, right? There's not, in Spanish, we don't call them eh, novena candles, you know, we call them veladoras, right? So, anyways, um, this would be, you know, use eh, contra el mal de ojo, el, el evil eye, el evil eye, el mal de ojo, you know, el, el mal ojo, right? And, oh, so it's got a little roll-on, so I guess this would be like a perfume, all right? So this is more like a, a perfume, so I'm going to smell every single one. Mm, it smells good. It's really soft, and you can see the oil right there. It's really soft. It's, I don't know if I'm going nose blind at this moment, because... Everything is getting softer, you know, after you smell the harsh, the strong, spicy eh, nido de pájaro macua and the cherry of, el, 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 you know, el de la buena suerte. Everything's starting to, you know, I don't know if I'm going noise blind. So this is a aceite contra mal de ojo and you can see that little evil eye amulet right there, right? So, and the next, the next one, or the last oil. So this vial right here says, Perfume de la Buena Suerte, Nido de Pajaro Macua. I don't know if it's an oil. I'm assuming it's for good luck, to attract good luck, because that's the only thing it says. Um, it does have some, a little bit of the needle, the, the nest del Pajaro Macua. And it's also a roll-on, just like a, el, 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 para contra mal de ojo. All right, so I'm just gonna oil it down. I smell like a f never mind. 
I was going to say, never mind. It smells like el pájaro macua. So this is more el aceite del pájaro macua. Um, softer than the actual perfume, but I do smell um, el, 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 the, the aromas del pájaro macua. Again, pájaro macua are products. The, the company is geared to attracting love, finances, abundance, opening the doors, for prosperity, to bring in new love, to bring in new relationships. Um, and now I'm learning something new against evil eye. So uh, I'm assuming that this aceite, and it has, I think it has pheromonas to attract sexuality, right? So to me, it smells like el perfume del pajaro macua. I like it. So I'm, almost at, I'm almost at the end. I'm having fun. I like this. This looks like un jabón, a soap. Okay, you can see right there. Es un jaboncito, a spiritual soap. So this one right here is el jabón de la buena suerte. Soap, soap, soap of good luck. And I am blind as a bat. But it says, recuerda, si sus penas quieres olvidar, ponga el jabón del pájaro macua a trabajar. Uh, remember, if you want to forget about your worries, put the pájaro macua soap to do its work, right? So, I've never smelled this. I don't want to open it because I want to show you in the video what it looks like. It, it talks about... Um, a little bit of, of el pájaro macua, the, the spiritual, you know, the pájaro macua in, in the Amazon, it places its nest above all other birds, right? So in, in Latin American, brujería, shamanism, um, curanderismo, el pájaro macua, its feathers are viewed as something to bring prosperity, to bring luck, to bring passion, to bring strength. So anything with El Pajaro Macua, um, all its products, I'm assuming, of course, has to do with that. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can read that. You can, you know, uh, screenshot it if you want. I'm going to open it up. I don't want to open it up because it looks nice as it is. But I'm going to open it up. Sorry, con me. All right, let's see. All right. So, you can see the logo del pájaro macua right there. Mm. It smells cherry. I can't smell it too much. I smell a little bit. I smell the cherry. I smell the spices. Um, but this is un jabón, a spiritual soap to attract love, money, abundance, a relationship, and sexuality, a menage a trois, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, I'm getting silly. So, yeah, that's this album right there. I've never used it, so, um, but if you want, you probably pick it up in the Botanica. I will leave the link to the company El Pajaro Matua down below so you can check out all their products look at it goes right back into its package like i never opened it that's pretty cool all right cool cool beans i like that okay so we're coming to the ending of the video and i love doing these uh video reviews of products so i've got two last things and uh mm. the video's gonna be over so this one, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a soap, but it says uh, Makwa. Makwa bird contains 100% glycerin. Uh, keep out of reach of children. 100% glycerin. So I don't know if this is um, soap or what it is. Um, I can't open it. Of course, I don't got my scissors on me. But it says... It has 100% glycerin, which I know it's used in cosmetic products. It smells like cherries. I can't get this out. I don't know how do I use this. I have no idea how to use this. I don't know if this is a soap. 
Um, it doesn't say soap on it. I don't know what this is. So I'm going to have to probably, I'm going to go on their webpage and figure out what this is on, you know, and probably leave it down below because I'm not going to describe something. I have no idea what it is to use for. I don't know if it's a soap. I can't get it out of here. So I don't think you're supposed to get it out of there. I know glycerin is used um, for uh, moisturizing products um, and in cosmetics. That's the only thing I know about it. Um, so I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to leave from what the web page says, if I find anything on it, what this is used for. But you can see it's just and it smells like um, cherries. It's black. It smells like cherries. It feels like a soap, but that's not coming out of here. So I think that's supposed to be left in there. And this is the package that it just closes back. So that was one of the last products. Oh, and this one, this is the last one, which it doesn't tell me anything of what it is. It looks like a honeycomb. I don't know if you can see that. I have no idea what none of that stuff is in there. This is the last one. I kept it for the last because I, um, I didn't know what was getting anyways, but this one intimidated me because of what was inside of it, which I don't know what the heck that is. So there's a soap. I don't know if this is soap. It smells like honey, fermented honey. Um, it smells like, what's that stuff that, um, mead? It smells like mead. I don't know what the heck that stuff is in there. I don't know what's in there. All right, so I don't know if this is soap. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that stuff is. Right? I have no idea. I'm going to Google what this is from their webpage because yo no se lo que es esto. But it smells like mead. Um, mead is fermented honey liquor that people in Europe would drink. A lot of pagans drink it. Uh, in Renaissance fairs, they serve mead. It smells like mead and it smells like beer. Also, there's like a beer, alcoholic beer to it. I have no idea what this is, so I'm going to Google what it is. Well, I'm going to check in the webpage to see what que es esto, because I don't know what that is. And what are those little things in there? You know what I'm So I went through their webpage, and this is a soap. Some of their soaps are very uh, interesting, right? Uh, in some soaps, a lot of people might get the EBGBs, right? Uh, you know... Some, eh, go check out it. So this is made to attract love and vibrate, you know, love, sexuality. And I don't know if that is honey, bee, or if these are actually pieces of bees themselves. Je ne sais. Je ne sais quoi. I don't know. Um, but this is the last product. It smells like mead. Their soaps are really interesting. There's... Just go check it, all right? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of El Pajaro Macua products. I'm going to leave a link down below. Click on that link. You're going to get 15% off your first order. Um, and you can probably pick up, well, you definitely can pick up El Pajaro Macua in any botanica, a spiritual, a a, a cult shop that caters to Latin American, you know, demographics. Um, check out the link. You get 15% off your first order. I'll leave the link down below in the description. Go click it. This candle is pretty cool. They have a whole bunch of different kinds of candles, a whole bunch of different types of perfumes, oils, uh, everything for attracting love, money, abundance. This is a very popular brand in Latin American folk magic. And um, I think you guys are going to like it. I like it. Again, the younger brujas, brujos, I don't know. The older ones, they'll know what this smells like. If you lived in the 80s, this smells like the 80s. and It's, it's really good. Um, very nostalgic. So anyways, this is San Sista Brujo Luis. This video is probably longer very long. I had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed your time with me. Uh, y con el pájaro, el nido del pájaro macua, el perfume del nido del pájaro macua. Please 
Leave those comments down below. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Share my channel, okay? Please share my channel with people who might enjoy this, uh, this channel. I try to review products that we use in Latin American folk magic, in brujería, espiritismo, shamanismo, shamanism, um, curanderismo. I try to talk about products of my Latin American, Boricua and Latin American culture. So this is what this channel is pretty much about. And go check out El, El Pajaro Macua. This is their most popular item, their number one selling item. It's been around since I was a teenager. Um, all this other stuff is pretty new to me. I didn't know they had any other products. Go check their products out. I, they smell pretty good. I like them. They're good quality. Anyways, Sancista Brujo Luis, smash that bell button to get notifications of when I put new videos out. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this content. Leave those comments down below. Lo quiero mucho. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Este Sancista Brujo Luis, lo quiero mucho. Chao. Pa, pa, pa ti, pa ti, pa ti, pa ti, pa ti. No quiero mucho. Así está Brujo Luis. Chao. El pájaro macuá.